What is going on, Internet? Lou here, and for all you Android lovers out there, today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Android SDK to delete applications off of your device. Now, you may say, well, you don't really need the SDK to delete an application off your device. You simply, you know, go into uh, the, the settings in the applications and delete it that way. Well, you're right. That's for any application that you maybe install through the market. Those applications are installed in a directory called data. Now, the data directory is um, read-write. So while uh, Android is actually up and running and your device is running, uh, you can you know, delete an application, clear out all the data, and uh, you're good to go. However, uh, for applications that reside in uh, the system directory, of the ROM. While the ROM is up and running, that directory is in a read-only status. So you cannot delete anything in the system directory. Now, if you've just rooted your device <clears throat> and you've got um, maybe a proprietary version of Android like Sense or Motoblur or TouchWiz, a lot of times those particular versions of Android come with carrier applications. Uh, a, lot of these, a lot of people refer to these ap applications as bloatware. These may be apps that you'll never really use. A lot of these apps actually have uh, background services running, so it's using your battery and your CPU power. Um, you've tried to uninstall them, but you really can't because they reside in the system uh, directory. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the SDK to uh, get these things off of your phone. You go into your application uh, drawer and they're staring you in the face. They're ugly and you just want them out of there. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the Galaxy Nexus. Now, you may say that's not a very good <laughs> uh, phone to be using for a tutorial like this because it's a developer phone. It usually comes with you know, the stock vanilla experience. However, the Verizon Samsung Galaxy Nexus actually does come with a few uh, Verizon proprietary applications, so um, it's not a completely stock experience, okay? So um, I'm I am using an AOSP ROM right now on my Galaxy Nexus, so those applications are removed already, but for this particular tutorial, I'm going to go ahead, pick a couple of apps, and, and delete them, okay? Now, this video will not cover how to install the SDK. I've already got a two-part series on how to do that, so if you haven't seen it, by all means, go back and take a look at that, because uh, once you root your device and you start customizing it, you're going to find that you'll be using the Android SDK every single day. Um, really, the things that you can do with the SDK are endless. It's an invaluable tool that's extremely powerful and flexible, so there's a host of things you can uh, do with it, and once you learn uh, how to really wield the power of that tool, it's going to really make how you can customize this device uh, you know the, the number of options it'll be endless okay now again we're going to be deleting uh, bloatware or applications unwanted applications off our Android device today so let's get to it now before we begin uh, please do me a favor and make sure you put your device in debugging mode okay now for every device it's going to be different on where to find this option however on the Galaxy Nexus if you pull down your notification tray Right next to the date, there's a quick uh, shortcut for settings. Go into settings, and all the way down at the bottom of the menu, you're going to see developer options. When you go into developer options, USB debugging is right at the top. Just uh, make sure USB debugging is enabled, and that's all you got to do with that. Now, I installed the Android SDK in my home partition, so all I have to do is CD, SDK, and we need to get into the platform tools. This is where ADB resides, okay? ADB does a lot of different things. So uh, we're going to use it right now to reboot into recovery. Now, if you've got ROM Manager installed, you can root in, uh, reboot into recovery that way. On the Galaxy Nexus, if you power off your device, then simultaneously press down the volume um, increase and volume decrease. At the same time as you do power, um, you can get into the bootloader and then choose recovery that way. Or uh, my favorite way is just to execute ADB reboot recovery once I do that my phone's now going to reboot which it is and I'm going into my custom recovery clockwork mod recovery now in recovery I'm going to actually mount the system directory now because Android the system isn't running you'll be able to actually delete applications out of it okay so from clockwork mod recovery you're going to want to select mounts and storage and then uh, you're going to want to select the option that says mount system. Okay, so now my system directory is mounted. 
what I want to do is I want to run ADB shell. So I will execute period forward slash AD <laughs> home row, Lou, home row. All right, ADB shell. All right, there we go. So we got the shell started. Let's type ls. All right, here is everything on the root of the ROM, all right? So uh, what we want to do now is we want to put ourselves within the system directory. So we want to cd into system. Let's hit ls again. Within the system directory now, we see uh, all these different directories. We want to go into applications, so we want to do cd app. Hit ls. Here's all of our applications installed in the system directory. Again, the read-only directory uh, while Android, uh, while the operating system is running, it's read-only. So, you know, now it is able to, we're able to go in here and delete whatever we'd like. Now, keep in mind, just like in Linux, uh, things are case sensitive. So to remove something, we do it the same way we do uh, when we want to remove a file in Linux. We type rm, then the name of the file. Okay, now, be careful what you're deleting. If you delete something and you don't know what it is, it, it could possibly be something that is um, really, you know, crucial to the operation of your system. So be very careful in here. Uh, let's do, let's do the genie widget. Okay, I'll simple, simply just copy and paste this right here, and hit enter. And that's it. Genie wi widget is now deleted. Let's take uh, one more. Let's do. I don't know. Loose sound recorder. All right, sound recorder. So again, RM, name of the application, enter. Let's type ls. As you can see, Genie widget is gone. And when we look over here, sound recorder is also gone. All right, so let's type exit. Let's go back to our device. If you go back to uh, the home screen of your of Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're going to see the option to reboot the system now. Go ahead and do that. We're going to reboot the phone, and then we're going to make sure that um, both the Genie widget as well as Sound Recorder is gone. If so, we're in business. Now, again, if you're on the Galaxy Nexus, there are two applications that Verizon provides. Um, one is Backup Assistant, and one of them is like a data um, application. I think it comes with a widget as well. Um, I'm going to use the built-in data feature right in Ice Cream Sandwich, and I do not use Backup Assistant. Um, I have all my contacts backed up on Gmail, so there really is no use for that. And Backup Assistant does have services running in the background as well, so keep that in mind. So let's go to my device here. Genie widget and sound recorder. Yep, both are now gone. So success. We deleted those applications from our device. Guys, hopefully this was helpful. Um, hopefully some of you who may be new to Android or new to the SDK uh, found this tutorial uh, really helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more Android videos, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any specific questions for me. I do read all of your comments, so uh, make sure if you're you know, having uh, trouble on one of the steps or you want to understand something a little bit better, you want me to clarify something a little more, leave a comment below. Once again, the comment section is a powerful place to, to leave feedback because if you're having trouble with something, there's a whole community of people who are looking for videos like this that may have an answer for you uh, if I'm not available. So make sure to leave a comment below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at oh, hey, it's Lou. You'll find the link below to my Twitter under the social media contacts. I also do have a fan Facebook uh, fan page as well as a blog. I have it uh, on Blogger. Again, the link will be below. I include any tutorial that I do. If there's a lot of terminal commands or really technical details, I will include a step-by-step -step written instruction on my blog. So that's also a really useful resource. Um, you can bookmark that blog, and that way you have all of the information that I spend a lot of time putting up there. Uh, you'll have it as a, uh, as a resource and a reference guide. So anyway, hope you guys like this video, and until next time, we will see you guys later.